Hi friends, welcome back to Hannah's Wonder Books. Today we're going to be reading The Day the Clans Quit by Drew Daywalt. This book is one of my favorites and we get to hear the perspectives of all the crayons. That means that we get to hear what all the crayons are thinking. So let's listen to The Day the Crayons Quit. The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. Pictures by Oliver Jeffers. The day the crayons quit. We're not happy. Done with this sort of thing. Twelve in a box. Crayons. One day in class, Duncan went out to his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. To Duncan. Hey, Duncan. It's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I, I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas on Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest, your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside of the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. You're a very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Cran. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only thing I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat, and let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, Beige Cran. Duncan, great can here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color all by myself. And don't even get me started on rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. And so are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those in, once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow, or to fill an empty space between other things, and it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need your, we need your, um, to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair. When you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of that ball with all the other crayons, how about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work of loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on your very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon.
Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book in case you didn't, you've forgotten. It's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a yellow field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Happy farm. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talk to you. The big whiner. Anyways, can you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we are no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the meet the Z Keeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad to see I'm here? Ha! Your pal in the real color of the sun, Orange Crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color the past year, and the year before that, and the year before that. I have really enjoyed the oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby, I cannot even see over the railing of the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm gir a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your yellow sister, your little sister, I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur? or monster or cowboy, goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes, help. Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. Look at that. He made all of his fun crayons happy. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. And an A plus for creativity. The end. I hope you enjoyed listening to The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. I'll see you next time on Wonder Books. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye, friends.